What's up, child? For Jess, Mess, and you know, we don't got much to say because yeah. sorry for the interrupt. That's what we was playing Roblox, but <laughs> you know, we got brought with cookies. So you know, we had to. <laughs> yeah, we had to make time for that. Oh. Anyway, seniors, seven more days. Six, 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 six seven. Days. Yo, we about to be out of here, yeah, really. You already know the vibes. So y'all know, make sure y'all pay all your fines and books or anything y'all need to pay, so y'all can walk across that field. And please show up to senior meetings, like graduation mm -hmm. practice. You yeah, gotta be here. Trying to, we ain't trying to be there that long. Show up on time. So um, it's show up on time. It's not gonna be me. I mean, okay. it ain't gonna be me. Anyway, so also the announcements. My heart can't take no more. I keep on running back. That's all I know. Congratu congratulations <laughs> to the 2023-2024 officers of next year's 800 Hall Clubs. Here are our newly here are our here are, here are your here are your newly appointed leaders in CTA. I feel like I need to like, okay. Oh. Next Monday, May 8th is the officer induction ceremony for FBLA, FCCLA, HOSA, Skills USA, and TSA. It starts at 5.30 in the theater and if you want Barbaritos, you have to pay $10. The golf team won region by more than 20 points and so now they're gonna be advancing to state on May 22nd and May 23rd. Four, 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 four. Four. What's up, seniors? This is a message specifically for you. You need to make sure that you complete your youth science so you can graduate, because if you don't complete it, you're not walking. You're not gonna walk. Hey guys, if you're a senior or if you're not coming back to Vidalia High School next year, we need you to turn all of the books that you have into the library by Friday. And if you don't have the book, if you can't find it, or if it's messed up, then come on in and we'll talk about replacing it. If you are coming back next year, then you are allowed to check books out for the summer and you just return it when you come back in August. Skills USA is selling chicken salads for $15. So make sure you come out and get one. We got Classic Carol, Buffalo Barclay, Fancy Nancy, and a whole bunch of other names. So make sure y'all get some chicken salads. It may get a little nuts. <laughs> right, Andre? Really, man? You, you proud of that? It was good, though, right? No, that was the opposite of good. To the next announcement. Behind the scenes. Oh, y'all know wait, that lady wait, wait. that says, it's wait, a wait, chicken wait. salad. I'm gonna try one of these salads. Hey, guys, we're gonna go. Hey guys, we're going to be asking our seniors what their best advice is for the class of 2024 in five words or less. We're here with... Callie. And what's your best advice for the class of 2024 in five words or less? Just stay out of trouble. Okay, we're here with... Khalees. And what advice do you have for us upcoming seniors? Okay, so don't play about y'all grades. Stay on test. Make sure you get all your stuff together. Like, you know, you got scholarships. You got to do applications for colleges and stuff. You know, make sure you stay on top of things. Okay, we're here with... Dizzy, stay out of trouble, make some money, yeah. We're here with some more troop. Make sure if y'all in the hallway, move your behinds out the way, please. We're here with CJ Palmer. I would say study and focus. Okay, thank you. Yo, it's Denzel. I'm with Brandon. And you know, it's May, so it's start a mental health awareness month. We're gonna go around asking them how do they cope with their mental health, you know, how do they make it better, stuff like that. They get into it. <sighs> okay, y'all. And how do y'all cope with y'all mental health? I write in a journal and listen to music. What kind of music you listen to? Like R&B. And Adele, my girl. I sit in the car and listen to music or I go driving. What kind of music? Sad stuff that baby wanna cry. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and what are you go driving to? My neighborhood. Not too far. Gas not cheap. What do you do? The kid, me what do you do? How do you deal with your mental health? I be listening to music and like drawing and like hanging out with my friends and stuff. Nice. How you deal with your mental health? So I'm gonna answer that with one word. One word. It's very complex. Complex. It's one word. One word. That's also very simple. Very simple. Jesus. Jesus. And we walking down the highway. Uh, How do you deal with your mental health? I listen to music and I just run around the house. Hey, can you be singing too, don't you? Yeah, I sing a little bit. Uh huh. All right. How do you cope with mental health? Um, get into a quiet place and journal my thoughts. I also like to read. I read a lot. Go outside. If you're not taking care of yourself, then no one else is going to 
take care of it for you. How do you handle and cope with your mental health? At school, if I'm having a stressful day or what have you, I might have to take a couple of deep breaths, almost like reset. So I try to remind myself of the things that I'm here for. Now, if I'm at home and I'm stressed, I clean my stove. All right, so I'm Denzel. I'm back, and I got Draco. Yo, Draco. Yo, my real name's Andre, man. Draco's my nickname. Come on. How do you deal with your mental health? By eating healthy, exercise all day. And going for a nice run. What about the food that you that you be eating? Broccoli, apples, maybe a burger at a time time. But I thought you said eating healthy. A veggie burger, my boy. Broccoli is disgusting. I'm gonna give you an L. That's the end of our segment. We're gonna keep doing interviews throughout the whole of May. Well, as long as I'm here, because you know seniors gotta leave early. Y'all gave some great answers. Okay, bye. The crusty crayon. Crayon pizza is the pizza for you and me.